Hello and welcome to today's lesson. This is summarized spoken text made easy for the listening section on PDE. Feedback is important. Awareness is important. Making sure that you understand where you are making errors is important. Uh, looking at the techniques today, you can also achieve the score. It's very easy once you know what to do. Okay, so let us look at what a summarized spoken text question looks like and why is it so difficult. Uh, the first thing is that you have 10 minutes inclusive of the audio to type your summary. If the audio is 2 minutes long, approximately that is the range, you have only 8 minutes then to attempt the question out of which you will take around 5 minutes to compose and then the remaining few minutes, 3 minutes to actually uh, proofread and revise it, right? So please remember that the 10 minutes per question are inclusive of the audio length, okay? Of course, there are multiple topic words that are included uh, in each audio. But today we are looking at a uh, summarized spoken text made easy. It means we are going to do it with a worst case scenario sort of attempt, which means that this audio you did not understand anything. You were not able to take a lot of notes and still how can you get a 79 plus how can you compose a good answer it's completely dependent on these techniques i'll give you a few simple score boosting tips which are focused on not you learning something new per se but actually on spotting and reducing your errors if this is your first attempt you can have a look at the test structure here so that you can understand that the summarized spoken text is actually half of your part three. If listening is for approximately one hour, then 30 minutes of it is going to be summarized spoken text. If your listening is 50 minutes, then 20 minutes is going to be summarized spoken text. You will get minimum two questions. That means 10 minutes each, total 20 minutes. And maximum you can get three or even four questions. Uh, so half of your listening section is summarized spoken text. And then the other half, which includes all the other questions, comes in the second part. And therefore, this makes it the single most important um, score boosting question type in this section. Okay, so we are going to first look at a loose attempt, a sort of step-by-step -step guide. What should I do when I mess up or I don't understand the audio and I don't know what happened and it was too fast and i couldn't understand i couldn't note much how can i compose a summary of something i don't even understand well you're in luck i'm gonna tell you today how to do that because uh, you don't need to understand what you just heard as long as you can do um this you know you can follow this process simple steps first of all just look out for what is repeating and just take those down or you can even verbally remember them if there's any big word big scientific word that you do not understand you can simply use science scientific you don't need to use that particular term but make sure that you note down the topic words if you get to know the main topic great you will definitely have at least one topic that you will be able to understand what is the overall uh, you know the audio about you can have a conversation, you can have an interview, you can have a scientific lecture, you can have op an opinion-based argumentative sort of audio, you can have a scientist presenting some facts and findings, some kind of conclusion, some correlation, some cause and effect. You can have multiple things happening in the audio. So look out for the final conclusion of the author as well. But today we are looking at a worst case scenario. You know, if, if you can... Uh, Figure out the main topic and what the author is saying, that's great. But suppose that you could not really understand anything, right? So today we are doing a summarized spoken text for dummies version, sort of, you know, made easy, right? Uh, so you want to have at least five words in front of you, right? The five repeating terms. Uh, you have to train your ears to listen for uh, repetitions. And of course, you have to get comfortable with a variety of foreign accents so that you can pick up on them. Those are the foundation steps, right? And then you plug in, uh, plug them into the template. Uh, you can't do this blindly. You will have to use it according to how many speakers there were. If it was a discussion, then use the one on discussion. If it was a straightforward uh, sort of scientific lecture, then use that, right? So just keep, uh, make sure that you are aware of all the templates and all the strategies. Finish typing within five minutes. I've already said that. Review, use the last two, three minutes to check that. Make sure that your word limit is within these word limits. Minimum 50, maximum 70. What we have noticed on the basis of the scores, the ideal, this is ideal, 
um, 55 to 65 words is where your answer should be if it is anything less than 55 or more than 65 then fit it in accordingly this is very very crucial please remember that um, and of course your spelling errors i've also covered the importance of spellings in detail in my previous lesson please make sure that you go through that the mystery of how billions of neurons make us who we are and the one brain that you think you might know your own that might be the biggest mystery of all. Could you ever have imagined that your brain would be the one that would kind of define your life and your career? <laughs> no. This is Dr. Jill Bolte-Taylor. I'm a trained neuroanatomist. And about 20 years ago, Jill was doing lab work at Harvard. She'd been researching other people's brains for years, particularly brains with schizophrenia or bipolar disorder, brains that just didn't seem to function properly. And she was widely recognized as a rising star in the field. But then one morning, it was the morning of December 10th, 1996, something happened to Jill's own brain. Once I awoke, I could not walk, talk, read, write. I could not recall any of the details of my life. Jill Bolte Taylor died that day. Jill was having a massive stroke on the left side of her brain. And soon, she'd be rushed to the emergency room. Jill told the story on the TED stage. I'm riding in an ambulance across Boston to Mass General Hospital, and I curl up into a little fetal ball. And just like a balloon, with the last, last bit of air, just, just right out of the balloon, I just felt my energy lift, and just, I felt my spirit surrender. And in that moment, I knew that I was no longer the choreographer of my life. And define the boundaries of my body because the atoms and the molecules of my arm blended with the atoms and molecules of the wall. And all I could detect was this energy, energy. And I'm asking myself, what is wrong with me? What is going on? Knowing what you knew about the brain, were you almost like, like mapping it in real time? Yes, on the morning of the stroke, it was uh, a pure mapping experience. So as soon as I was having a problem with the volume of the, the way that the water hits the tub and there's this incredible amplification of the sound, well, you know, I immediately have a visualization of the circuit of the sound system in understanding amplification and knowing that I'm passing information through my brain stem and I'm having problems at that level and brain stem is uh, the potential for death. This is now a do or die situation. So yes, I'm mapping as, as I'm losing circuit by circuit. At the same time, I'm going, what is wrong with me? Because of course, I've never had a stroke before. Okay, so two and a half minutes have passed and now you have seven and a half minutes remaining to compose your answer. Uh, now I know that this audio was very uh, scary, might have been confusing, fast in parts, there might have been some background noise when, you know, they were uh, sharing the sounds that she was experiencing, whatever, right? So you'll have all of these, and plus you'll have other people around you, you know, taking the test. So there might be some ambient sounds, you know, somebody doing something. So a lot of distractions, a lot of problems. I can understand the audio quality uh, is like this because, um, you know, they are going to use scientific academic lectures, right? So you have to make sure that you are uh, practicing with fast-paced lectures with background noise, right? That is the number one thing. That's, again, foundation. But coming to today's strategy, so just what I could notice initially, he talks about brain, mystery, brain, brain, stroke, mapping, mapping, mapping towards the end, circuits, energy, ambulance, death, near death, right? Okay, all those things uh, and whatever she was feeling, right? Whatever you could catch from this, just, just make a note of it. If you made it, uh, if you made some notes during the audio, that is always best. Uh, but some people find that they recall better when they don't write anything down. Whatever works for you, just make sure that you have at least five good, big uh, terms, topics, right, for you to go on. And please remember, this is a worst case scenario. This is not something that you should do, right? So uh, ideally, you should try to uh, note as much as possible, right? Again, talking about on one particular day that you were nervous and you weren't able to capture everything or this is normally how you experience the test you are not able to um, you know understand anything that happens in the listening section so this will also help you with your summary questions one very clear thing we noticed that somebody was having a stroke 
and therefore it was a very uh, negative experience overall so something bad was happening right and she is also telling us her personal experience if i have to give uh, you know a, like a heading to what i just heard it is uh, that scientist that neuroanatomist if you did not catch that word uh, or her name or the fact that she is, was researching at harvard and all those things that's completely fine i don't need any information to write a summary okay so i don't need her name i don't need to know all the small little details as long as i have these four or five repeating words in front of me i'm good to go okay uh, but what type of audio it is that she is talking to this guy right the person who introduces her so there are two speakers uh, if you're not sure about the number of speakers uh, you can say multiple speakers you can use words like discussion interview right all those things so that it it uh, you know helps you uh, to give uh, you know compose your first sentence as we'll shortly see right so personal experience that is how i will define or summarize this particular audio type and negative experience right that is the overall tone uh, something good is happening or something bad is happening right uh, again how we will use this concept we are just going to shortly see okay so keep your first sentence very simple the audio presents a discussion on the and insert the main topic right whatever words that you can use uh, start writing with me right now you can write it on pen and paper if you want to learn because that that helps you really remember the structures you can also type it that is completely fine if you're typing uh, please use a notepad file because that will not show you your spelling errors and all those things and it'll be more realistic right so we will put it into microsoft word later to check the word count and check the spelling errors right so the audio presents a discussion on the brain right but what about the brain right stroke brain stroke right malfunctioning of the brain the mystery of the human brain the human brain right okay right so make sure that you insert any one of the terms and you can put it as the main topic whether stroke or brain or the lady's experience whichever way that you want to go about is completely fine but i hope that all of you caught brain right the brain the word brain was repeated a lot throughout the audio uh, you know even when they were talking about the stroke it's not really uh, easy to connect you know whatever she was saying right until you actually make sense of the first few sentences right so the first few sentences are very crucial in introducing the topic right so make sure that you remember that yeah so the topic overall is brain right okay i hope everyone got that now we are going to see what the sentence looks like so starting with any of these is fine the audio presents a discussion on the mystery of the human brain that is what i have written you can even write any of the other variations you can write any of the five terms we can pick up from there and form a phrase so the word discussion we used because there were two people involved right and it really uh, helps you nail the summary right so what kind of audio it is that is what you have to do in a summary if you start your first sentence like this the audio presents a discussion on the and you insert the main topic you can do this with any kind of a discussion if it is only a single speaker then you can change the word discussion to the word lecture and of course you can you know change the word audio, audio as well if you want to make it uh, you know better of course you can do multiple variations right the speaker presents uh, you know information regarding right the audio captures the key points of right this particular topic the audio conveys information regarding right uh, the speaker uh, presents a lecture on right okay so you can have multiple variations it's completely fine you can have uh, you know two to three templates that you should prepare depending on the type of lectures right so that you are ready with it but today let's just look at the simplest possible structure don't confuse yourself too much uh, please write down the first sentence i hope that you have written it by now pick up any one of these or i hope that you already wrote it so simplest possible thing if you didn't understand much the audio presents a discussion on the human brain right at least that much everyone should have captured the third option simplest brain stem stroke if somebody caught that brain stem was repeated two three times at the end if you didn't catch that that's fine functioning the word function and malfunction is something which is very uh, useful in uh, academic lectures so these kind of words you have to be ready with uh, again i'll give you a tip at the end about learning these kind of words so that you can be prepared 
uh, but very simply uh, looking at the repeating words the brain is somehow to be present and if you look at all these four options that i have written uh, the word brain is present in all of them right that is a common factor so please make sure that it is a variation or a combination of this and nothing else and of course whatever you have written i can't see it whether it is grammatically correct or not so obviously it helps if you are you know doing this live with one of our tutors so that you do get feedback but of course if you have basic your basics in english are there in place you can definitely start uh, copying this template as it is okay now we're on to sentence two please copy the template the speaker further shares information regarding topic two topic three and topic four we are simply going to list down all these terms and that will make a sentence okay so please start writing look at the five repeating terms that you had in front of you on your notes and compose a sentence and then we will check okay remember keep it simple stay focused on the repeating terms on the simplest possible topic words that you could note down you do not did not understand the lecture that's completely fine right don't try to repeat all the details if you do remember details of course you can include them of course right okay that's definitely not a problem this template reduces all your errors by giving you a simplified sentence structure and that is why i recommend that you use it you know instead of forming your own sentence and then fixing all the errors there you can just pick up ready-made correct sentences but you still will have to uh, you know change the other parts depending on whatever the audio in the lecture is right so let's insert uh, the further topic words and let's make a complete sentence this is what i came up with the speaker further shares information regarding brain circuits i had circuits written somewhere she talks a lot about circuits I don't know what she was talking about. I don't know, but I have noted the word circuits. I've heard it multiple times, right? You can even go back and replay the audio to catch this, right? So this is how the strategy really helps you. Stroke, malfunction, brain disorder, right? Any, anything that you can think of, which is a negative term for when something happens inside your brain. Uh, if you know what a stroke is, great. If you don't know, also that's not a problem, but you should know that it's something bad. Yeah. Okay. Mapping the experience. She talks about mapping towards the end because she's herself a scientist and how she experiences the stroke, you know. So she's also feeling all those things. But anyway, again, I don't need to understand what it is. So the words experience, mapping, circuits, stroke, malfunction, I've tried to sort of put them together into this sentence and I've gotten all my topic points and I've basically made sure that I've used a simple sentence structure and just listed down the things like A, comma B, comma C and D instead of trying to make a complicated sentence okay let's move to sentence three we are now coming to the final sentence if you have more topic words if you have more words you can even uh, you know give them here if you're out of words you can just write about uh, you know the tone right so we are going to put in the words negative or experience somewhere there and which type of audio with somebody relating her personal experience right the scientist the lady right so i want to just include that over here right it's because i have no more topic terms that i remember or i don't have really a lot to go on so again i will use this finally uh, the audio provides an insight into something along with something right so this is the structure that i want to memorize and then let's see what i can do with this so write along with me so in my case, all the topic words were over. I used all the five topic words or whatever I had, right, in sentence one and two. So here I'm just talking about uh, something negative. So terrifying, strange are the adjectives and experience of her own stroke, right? So I have just composed this sentence as finally the audio provides an insight into the scientist's terrifying and strange experience of her own stroke. You can use any kind of adjectives. Uh, right you can uh, we are definitely going to do um, the word limit check and the spell check and the you know error check on this later but while you are drafting right don't worry about it right just make sure that you have three sentences in front of you and have all whatever you can recall is you know listed there and you have put it there as per the structure and then we are going to go and review it okay now let us look at the review now remember that the audio was two and a half minutes in seven and a half minutes, I used four minutes to type those sentences. I had three sentences. I fit them into the template. 
uh, the audio presents a discussion on the main topic, the mystery of the human brain. The speaker further shares information regarding brain circuits, stroke, malfunction, and mapping the experience. Um, stroke malfunction is an incorrect phrase because I was drafting it. I, you remember when you're drafting, you're not supposed to worry about this, right? You worry about this in your review, right? It's a brain malfunction, right? Which is a stroke. It is not the stroke which is malfunctioning, right? The brain is doing the malfunction, right? Okay, and therefore that, that I've highlighted in red. Uh, the last sentence, finally, the audio provides an insight into the scientist's terrifying and strange experience of her own stroke. Remember that any neuroanatomist, biologist, all of them are eventually scientists. So even if I did not capture that word, I can still use the word science, scientist, right? Pro tip, please remember, okay? Of, or if they give a title, doctor, researcher, whatever, right? Researcher, speaker, anything is fine. You know, lecturer, don't worry too much about the specific academic terms, okay? Um, the, now, another thing that I notice is uh, the word experience has come twice, even though it's not a major error. When I read the answer, it doesn't really flow well. Uh, you know, the speaker further shares information regarding mapping the experience. And finally, the author, uh, sorry, the audio provides an insight into uh, the strange and terrifying experience, right? So the word experience for me is repetitive. I personally don't like it. I want to make like a perfect answer. I do have time left. If you don't have time left, of course, the experience error, remember, it's a very minor error. It's not really going to make an impact. But stroke malfunction, I should try to fix it to either brain malfunction or cut the word malfunction, right? Whichever way that I want to fix these errors, so I spotted two errors. I checked the word count is 43. And remember, I want to hit minimum 55 as per my, uh, you know, uh, the, the word, the crucial word limit range that I need to hit for my 79 plus, right? As per my analysis. So I'm going to do these, uh, you know, uh, sort of fixes. And then let's look at the final answer. Okay, let's look at the review. The first thing that I've done is I fixed the word, um, you know, uh, the stroke malfunction error, right, and the experience error, right, and also I needed to add length, and therefore in the third sentence, I just kind of added along with, added some words. Uh, so I'll take you step by step through this. There are two tips that you can use to expand your answer and refine your answer. Insert adjectives, positive and negative adjectives. Adjectives are words that describe nouns, good or bad. They can be replaced with good or bad. Fascinating, good. Additional, extra, right? Okay, good, yeah. Whole, right, again. So these kind of words, uh, again, you want to learn a little bit about nouns and adjectives so that you can understand. When you're listing down topics in the summary, topics are all nouns. The speaker further shares additional information regarding circuits, stroke, and mapping. They are all three used as nouns. You need to understand what nouns are, how they function. If you are very, very weak in your English grammar basics, you want to learn about nouns and adjectives. Pick up any simple grammar book and just work with the exercises uh, and just make sure that you focus on the usage. Of course, all of this is faster if you have a person there guiding you, you know, giving you uh, live feedback on your errors, right? Okay. Um, so what I have done is I've inserted some extra adjectives where I needed to and I've added, uh, you know, because I didn't have anything else except for malfunction. So what I did was I took malfunction from the second sentence and expanded it into a phrase in the third sentence. Remember, you don't want to really add something that you don't know because I don't want to take any chances. So I can reinsert the repeating terms by paraphrasing them, by using other words, energy, sensation, feeling, whatever, whatever her in her was involved in her story, as long as I can make sense of it and keep it very vague, right? Because I don't want to go wrong here, right? I don't know what happened in the lecture. I don't want to go wrong. I don't want to write something that I'm not sure about, okay? That's very important. So the audio presents a fascinating discussion. What kind of a discussion? A fascinating discussion, an interesting discussion, right? Between two speakers. I knew that there were two speakers, so I've inserted that. You can even write between multiple speakers if you're not sure there were two, okay? Because sometimes it's hard to tell with their voices, okay? So that's totally fine if you couldn't tell. Um, on the mystery of the human brain. So two, uh, four words added to the sentence one. Look at sentence two. The speaker further shares additional information regarding this is, you know, just adding in that one extra word next to information regarding neural circuits. Neural is a better adjective for circuits. Uh, you can even keep it brain circuits, but I wanted to refine it. Uh, so I did it. You need not do it. Brain stem stroke. You need not write brain stem. You can just write stroke. That's also fine. Mapping the, instead of 
the experience i've written whole experience because i'm going to use terrifying and strange already i need one more adjective that i can use so whole experience right finally so in the third sentence finally the audio provides an insight into the scientist's terrifying and strange experience of her own stroke along with a detailed personal description her own experience is her personal uh, description so i've just paraphrased that same thing i'm not really writing anything new i'm just right now expanding so paraphrasing is the best way to expand description of the sensations she felt during the malfunction right so i just have to fill some words i just have to make sure that it crosses 55 uh, it, it has reached 64 and it's kind of, it's perfect i'm very happy with this even if you didn't write so many words after along with it's fine as long as you can just keep it simple short make your life easy use the three sentence template there are no errors mission summarize spoken text is now complete and hopefully you get it done within 10 minutes so therefore you need to ha be aware of this entire process i hope this has been helpful for you okay i also just realized something before i get into this um uh, that in the previous one a lot of you might be wondering why mapping is a noun if you're wondering if you look at the sample answer uh you know there's no nobody doing the action right okay when i say mapping it's more like swimming is a good uh, exercise here i'm using swimming as a noun not as a verb okay so even ing words can be used as nouns right so brain circuits brain some stroke and mapping the experience mapping becomes uh, the noun in that scenario but anyway that's that's not important you want to just understand that you are not making those errors and you're not uh, unnecessarily confused study up on verbs uh, nouns adjectives right these important groups uh, okay, so the additional tip that I want to leave you with today is learn five positive and five negative adjectives at least, which you can use in any kind of summary tasks on your PDE. Wonderful, fascinating, amazing, progressive, large scale, advanced, uh, you know, and negative like terrifying or weird, horrible, dangerous, harmful, detrimental, anything that you can use in a sentence. Okay, knowing the word is not enough, the usage is important. And again, everyone has some habitual errors that they make which you need uh, somebody to spot them for you a life tutor is best as per my recommendation please stop wasting your time these things will improve instantly the minute that you have feedback um, i'm offering a free uh, writing sectional test if you want you can drop me an email and i can uh, give you free feedback on your writing uh, one scored sectional writing test listening test uh, you know which it, it is going to be there and you can make sure that you uh, or you can do one summary question uh, send me the audio link and send me your summary and i will share my feedback on that so just make sure that of course give me time to revert uh, get, get a lot of queries please give me time to revert uh, three to four working days at least uh, and i will definitely get back to you but remember that you do need feedback okay and just installing grammarly is not going to be enough because it doesn't uh, catch most of the errors okay uh, so please remember that you are learning to eliminate your errors instead of worrying too much about uh, the, the the technical grammar portion and mugging up jargon uh, just focus on the usage focus on knowing your errors reducing your errors if there's a problem that you have with connectors learn that like along with uh, we saw in sentence three can be a very good connector just listing down things right this can be a very easy way to uh, frame a sentence so i hope these tips have uh, you know ha have helped you <coughs> i'm sorry my throat is going now so <laughs> this brings us to the end of the lecture i'm going to end today's lesson here I have also put up a, a Google form for a free personal guidance session. If you are a repeat test taker, I am here to help uh, aware of all the intricacies of the test. So please make sure that you fill out the form at this link. I'll also put this in the bottom description bars. You can go there and fill out. You can upload your scorecards there uh, for my feedback on that to understand where is it that you need to work. Uh, this is free feedback. So please avail of it so that you can actually improve. This, this is not going to uh you know cost you anything you're really going to benefit and of course if you want to take up classes training all of that stuff uh definitely drop us an email at veracitymentors.org at gmail.com have a happy day study hard do well uh until the next lesson bye bye